So, hello everyone. We are here at the 40th anniversary for the Sundance Film Festival, which is crazy. It's, it's been going on for 40 years. I can't believe it. And I am with the one and only Lucy Lawless. I have honestly looked up to you my whole childhood. You have been well, an thank you very much. I have watched every episode of Xena on repeat. Oh, lovely. My grandparents are going to die when they see this video. Oh, my love to your grandparents. <laughs> but we are here for the world premiere of your director debut. Yes. Uh, for never look away, and this is never, a, yes, never, never look ne away, never look away. So I'm never going to look away from Lucy ever again, ever. Uh, but this is such an inspiring and impactful story about an incredible woman, Margaret Moth, who was this inspirational CNN journalist. I mean, the things that she has done in her career yeah. is insane. I mean, the addiction and drive that she had, but also just the amount of content that she was able to capture in different ways from her lens. I would love to know what really inspired you to really document her story and bring this to life. I just love bad girls and Margaret was the baddest. Like I, I played a warrior princess on TV but she was the real deal. I mean this woman voluntarily went and I'd like to say also that she's She's unique because she's the heroine of our film, but her colleagues are still out there and still doing it even as we speak and, and um, that laying down their lives to bring truth and images that speak to the, for the victims mm -hmm. of um, horrible conflict. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of like the B story in, in our film oh, about yeah. this incredibly unusual woman, but um, that her profession, they, they need our, our respect and, pr and protection. And she's yeah. behind the camera, so you don't really get to see that story. It was a problem. You know, that's the huge thing. Yeah. Is we, we get this incredible content that the viewer gets to see, and it's so impactful. But at the end of the day, it's like, what was the story on the other side of that lens? Exactly, and that's the difficult thing, because when you're telling a story about somebody's private life, there's no visual evidence. Yeah. There's no moving pictures. There's not even photos of the downtimes. Like Margaret, Margaret didn't was. Have one facing this way too. She no. never showed no, and and even her her personal photographs. They very seldom show her as anything but quite stoic or happy or whatever, you know. So the evidence of those times in her life that were the darkest and the most despairing, we, it was like, how do you tell that story? So fortunately, we had one of the heroes of her story who was in the van with her when she was shot is here with us. And he, oh, he wow. plays, uh, that's him there, Steph. Oh, wow. Uh, Steph got Sona, so he's like, the, people find him like the most reliable witness. He's the guy you really believe on the screen. And we get to meet her, her lovers and, um, just she had I this love that really perspective by the way. Oh my it's, god, the it's, lovers it's, are amazing. I yeah, I'm so excited. She, her for friends that. were so crazy. Like they were <laughs> such an interesting coterie of friends that she had and they were like they were like fairy tale creatures like out of Narnia or something. Like her lover wow. Yashinka is like a, walking a, through a mirror into a, Narnia basically. Yeah, it's like a satyr and then Jeff, her, her lover, her first lover that you meet, he's like an underground um, underwater octopus mu magician like so oh. there's such outrageous characters that I and knew that's something I, you don't even you can't script or make up it's just you, it's part of her life look I found these um, human beings who just they're this they live with you I think you take you walk out of the cinema and they're sort of you go out for coffee with them afterwards and, and talk about them because they're just quite magical so that's that's Margaret and the impact she had on well on it's going to be such an incredible impactful storyline and I cool. know it's all about you know female empowerment coming from the female lens. So I love that you're depicting the story in the way that you are. But you're also doing three different things: you're directing, you're producing, you're writing. How are you juggling all this? I mean, is it is it pretty? It just felt like one job to me. You know, I really? just I just um, it owned me the story from the moment I got the email saying, "Hey, would you want to make a film about Margaret Moth?" And I was I I went. I can't let anybody get this. I immediately wrote back. I was like, "Yes, I'll find the money. I'll find the producers." This. And then I was like. What am I talking about? I don't know how to do any of this. And then two years later, we're at Sundance, so perfectly. you well, can you understand. To be here, I'm, truly. I'm I did see amazed. you on 90s uh, The Rewind uh, show recently, actually, on Disney. You looked amazing on that. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that you're still on different ends in front of the Me screen too. and also behind that's, the scenes. That's the message. Endure, kids. Yes, endure. Like, exactly. Just endure. Endure it. Well, thank you so much, My Lucy. My pleasure. I'd love to talk to you. you.